Galveston could soon be putting even more restrictions on golf carts. The city council talked about that today after four members of a family were killed on the island last Saturday night. A suspected drunk driver plowed into the golf cart they were riding in. Adam Bennett is live on the island right now. And Adam, the Galveston City Council had updated their golf cart ordinance just last summer. That's right, Ron, but since then they've recorded 32 golf cart related crashes according to police records and almost half of those have been here along the seawall. So the mayor says this was an issue they had already been getting complaints about, but this recent tragedy really pushed it to the forefront. But some business owners say they think city leaders are focusing on the wrong issue. Just blocks from the beach, a memorial still stands at 33rd Street and Avenue R in Galveston. It's where four members of a Rosenberg family were killed Saturday night. Police say an SUV ran a stop sign and struck the golf cart they were riding in. If this council realizes that the main cause of the actions of, uh, that brought about this accident were allegedly because of a drunken driver. But Mayor Craig Brown says the island's also seen a proliferation of golf carts. He and council members spent more than an hour at this morning's workshop discussing ways to reduce the risk to both locals and visitors. And I do like the idea of the timing unlimited after dark. A nighttime ban, keeping golf carts off Seawall Boulevard and restricting passengers under age 12 got the most support. Two council members also brought up limits on rental companies. I would not be opposed to taking a approach to banning rental golf carts. Another council member suggested looking at overall road safety beyond just golf carts. A Galveston police sergeant also gave his input. The reason we're here is not because of the golf cart, okay, it's because of another individual's actions. The co-owner of Carriage House Rentals agrees. You know, that is that should be the main focus of this. Brett Von Blon likes the idea of limiting rental companies' work hours and adding protections for younger riders. He says those are two things he already does with his business. But Von Blon disagrees with shutting down rental companies and with a nighttime driving ban. A lot of folks here, whether they're renting our cart or just residents in town, that like to take their, their cart out to dinner and then come back. And Mayor Brown says city staff is also working with police to craft recommendations to fight drunk driving. But on the golf cart issue, city council could vote on changes to that ordinance as soon as August 25th. Ron? You can expect even more debate over this in the weeks to come. Thank you so much, Adam Bennett.